My goal when I treat patients is really to improve their quality of life. New York Presbyterian Queens is a 500 bed hospital in the borough of Queens, New York, uh, serving a population of 1.5 million people. Our community is exceedingly diverse, uh, made up of immigrants from all parts of the world. At New York Presbyterian Queens, we are the only facility in the entire borough that is able to provide comprehensive cardiovascular care. We have really made it our goal to provide the most cutting edge and innovative electrophysiology care to this community. We pride ourselves on bringing novel treatments we feel uh, offer patients the best possible EP care, uh, which include novel pacing techniques and ablation techniques uh, for all manner of electrophysiologic problems. Atrial fibrillation is a particular interest of mine. It's a very common arrhythmia, only increasing in incidence as our population ages and lives with chronic heart disease. We've been collaborating with a group from Marseille, France, uh, who's identified a new technique for looking at electrograms uh, with the tool set that we have already and have actually developed an artificial intelligence mapping program that reproduces the technique that they have developed. So we're planning to start a clinical trial with this group this year. My personal interest is to use intracardiac ultrasound extensively during the ablation procedures. Intracardiac ultrasound provides us with a direct visualization of the cardiac structures by providing uh, real-time images throughout the procedure, the intracardiac ultrasound can help us to assess and uh, monitor complication issues. My hope for the future is that intracardiac ultrasound will be used extensively and routinely for every ablation procedures so that we can eliminate x-ray exposure to our patients. One of the things that I've had a particular interest and in, eager adoption of is a pacing technique called direct his bundle pacing uh, or permanent his bundle pacing. It's something that's been around for a long time, over a decade, but there's been a renewed interest in it. The long-term impact of permanent his bundle pacing over traditional pacing is that the patient does better. In a traditional pacemaker, a significant number of those patients will develop something called congestive heart failure or other arrhythmia. And the reason for that is traditional pacemakers are not as natural as permanent his bundle pacemakers. I would say that in the next five or ten years, permanent his bundle pacing will be standard of care. As we have been refining and getting better at that here, um, I think there are things that we can share with our community. In addition to my role as Chief of the Division of Cardiology here at New York Presbyterian Queens, I devote a lot of time to working on health policy uh, issues that arise. One of the um, concerning issues that I've focused on recently is the question of cybersecurity, not only in medical centers, but particularly for implantable pacemakers and defibrillators. We've realized that cybersecurity is a very different type of problem than we've dealt with previously in the field of medicine. With cybersecurity, the, the topics to discuss with patients are very different. And so we're focusing on developing communication strategies for patients and also educating providers so that they understand their role in minimizing cybersecurity risks and also educating patients. The Heart Rhythm Society has been the bridge that's allowed me to extend my work beyond the work locally and to pursue health policy work that can improve our care locally, whether that's working with FDA to improve device safety or working with new uh, products to bring them to market or uh, working with FDA and other federal agencies uh, to improve the quality of care and help payment reform. We do pride ourselves very much on a patient-centered approach to everything that we do. I was brought here at Presbyterian Hospital by an ambulance because I thought I was having a heart attack. And the ambulance came and he was brought to Presbyterian. I was glad that he was brought here. He was suffering from atrial fibrillation. They would really uh, go over whatever the um, conditions of the patients with the family. We had a long discussion about his stroke risk and decided to proceed with left atrial appendage closure. The procedure was successful. I'm very grateful with Dr. Goldberg 
they explain everything, and they, they're always there. It has been great so far. Our experience with this hospital has been great. The future of electrophysiology is very bright, and the future here at New York Presbyterian Queens is also very exciting. I think we continue to innovate, we continue to look to new techniques. There are more and more patients with electrophysiologic problems whose lives we can improve, and Queens is a great place to do this work.